The new law has provoked a response unlike any other. As an act of protest, hundreds of students donned sex toys on Wednesday. Uh, people got so riled up by Cox Not Glocks because, um, I mean, we were using a controversial method to get the message out. Um, but, you know, it really did, it was salient because uh, according to Texas Penal Code 43.22, it is a classy misdemeanor to carry a phallic object in public. And so that juxtaposed with the absurdity of guns on campus, loaded guns and backpacks. And so we just kind of riffed off of that. It was just kind of like a crew of a couple girls who were organizing it. We had no idea, like the magnitude of how many people would be there. This was on September 11th, uh, like a week or something after the protest, um, and I was in my apartment parking garage, and my friend had texted me a link to the video. I really had no idea. It was titled, Never Met Her. And like immediately I noticed that the actress looked a lot like me. She was wearing the same shirt that I wore to the protest, same hairstyle, everything. And then she gets shot in the head. And I was, I was just shaken. You know, I, I still run into open carry Texas people at the Capitol. Um, if I ever do any press about Cox Not Glocks, um, I did, you know, people do, it's, and it's on social media, people do comment really derogatory stuff, but you know, that's just kind of what comes from activism, and especially if you're a woman and you start young and you're really outspoken, people get uh, intimidated by that. The, the death threats have not affected me one bit. Um, you know, these are just people hiding behind their computers. These are the responsible gun owners that we're supposed to trust. Um, you know, I know that these cowards are not going to do anything, and if anything, making people mad is just another way to get the message out. So I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I don't think that conversations around gun violence are ever going to get really civil necessarily because just as I am very much ingrained in my own beliefs uh, about uh, gun ownership, the other side is too, especially with this political climate. I don't see anything changing, unfortunately. I personally don't believe that we can come to a compromise. It's do or die. We're dealing with lethal weapons. And so with my all or nothing kind of outlook on it, we're not going to see much change. But it's really, it's empowering. People are listening. Um, unfortunately, those individuals got the press that they wanted. But um, in the end, they just look like cowards.